Welcome back lovies. Today I have more Dollar Tree DIY decor to show you. I love the warm wintry feeling that these plaques bring to my home with a Christmas flair. To make our first one, you're going to need a snowflake wooden plaque from the Dollar Tree, some ornaments, some of those garland twist ties. You're going to need some bells and some floral, and you're going to need some paper stock. The hardest part I think about making our first DIY here is choosing your cardstock paper. I chose three kind of Christmassy ones and I really couldn't make up my mind but I ended up going with the last one which is the red with the black deer and snowflake. I really liked the snowflake on the paper because we are putting it on a snowflake wooden plaque and I thought it would just go well. So from there you're just going to turn your cardstock over and trace out your snowflake. Then you're going to take the time to cut this out. This is a little intricate, it will take you some time, but after you have it cut out you will have a perfect mimic shape of your snowflake. So as you can see after you get cut out it fits perfectly over your wooden plaque there of a snowflake. Then from here to get your cardstock to stick to your wooden snowflake, you're just going to use Mod Podge, which you can also purchase for a dollar, of course, at the Dollar Tree. I put some on the wooden plaque, but it absorbed it pretty quick, so I changed my mind and decided to put it on the back of the cardstock, which I think worked out better because then I was able to kind of move the cardstock around a little bit to make sure that I get that perfect placement and none of the wooden plaque was showing underneath the cardstock. After you get that placed, of course you're going to want to put Mod Podge on the top as well to seal it. After you seal your paper onto your wooden snowflake, allow it to dry and then you're ready to move on to the next part which is bringing this beautiful snowflake up a notch. I chose one of the round ornaments from the Dollar Tree and one of the stag heads. And my thought was I'll make it look like the stag head is mounted onto the snowflake plaque. And I'm just going to use the round wooden ornament as kind of like the base to mount the stag head. So the first thing I want to do is remove the middle decoration, which mine happens to have a snowflake on it. And it's only stuck on there by hot glue, so then I have to pick off the hot glue. It takes a few minutes, but once it's off, it's clean. And I can put a healthy dose of hot glue on the back of that ornament and stick it straight into the center of the snowflake plaque. And then once that's done, I could put a healthy dose of hot glue on the bottom of the stag and then stick the stag in the middle of the round ornament. And voila, you have a mounted stag head on a snowflake. So to kick this up another notch, I'm going to take some DT floral, I'm going to cut it apart, and I'm going to add more sprigs and more flowers just to make this little mounted stag head look a little bit more fuller. And I really love the green and the pops of berry and the pops of flowers. It just, to me, makes the plaque look more Christmassy, and I love the colors. It looks beautiful in my opinion. Now you can stop here, but I wanted to bring a little bit more gold to this and I also thought of deer and Santa Claus and Christmas 
and Jingle Bells came to mind for me because I think of reindeer and Jingle Bells. So I glued Jingle Bells all the way around at the points of the snowflake and the packs of Jingle Bells from the Dollar Tree, there's eight of them and there's exactly eight points on the snowflake, snowflake not snow flag. <laughs> so it worked out perfectly and I love the gold. It kind of pulled the gold from the deer all the way around the snowflake and I really think it just finishes it off. But like I said, you don't have to put the Jingle Bells on but I really do think it brings it home. Tell me what you think. For my next DIY, it's just another version of this snowflake. I really do like these wooden snowflakes from the DT. So I got another snowflake, I got a beautiful bag, more of those garland twists, white paint, and some floral from the DT. So the first thing we need to do is we need to paint the snowflake and of course I chose white because my bag is kind of like a wintry scene. So I'm just going to get my snowflake completely painted and this again all varies to your opinion. I did one coat because I kind of wanted some of the wood to show through to make it look more earthy. I didn't want it to be like stark white because the bag that I'm using is not stark white either and I really like the effect that it gave it just a very light white coat, but you can go full force and make yours as dark or as light as you want. After you get it painted, of course you're gonna let it dry, and then from there we move on to the next step. So you're going to wanna cut the picture out from the front of your bag, which I picked out this beautiful rose gold winter wonderland with two deer. After it is cut out, you want to lay your snowflake on top of it and just trace out where the little snowflake has divots in the middle so that when you flip the picture onto the top, that doesn't stick over the snowflake structure. And then once that takes place, we're going to do the same exact principle we did with our cardstock, and that is use Mod Podge to be able to get it to stick down to the snowflake. And you're gonna do the exact same thing. You're going to put some of the Mod Podge on top of the bag to get it to stick. And then once it's on top, you're going to then lacquer the top, so to speak, so that it is sealed completely and your bag doesn't take a chance of it peeling off of your snowflake. Because this is a gift bag, you really, really have to work with it and use quite a bit of Mod Podge. You might have to go back over and kind of hold down the edges to get them to seal because it is thicker than cardstock. But it does work, it will stay. You just gotta kind of manipulate it and work with it. But once it's done, it's absolutely beautiful. But of course, I'm gonna take it up a notch. I'm gonna use some raffia and make a big, beautiful bow to glue on top of a twisted um, garland twist so that it kind of like droops over the top of it. And then I'm gonna cut up some of that white flowered um, greenery from the Dollar Tree, and I'm also going to add them on the corner. So the decoration of this can be done in any way with anything that you can find from the Dollar Tree, whatever you wanna use. You can also, again, glue things to like the points of the snowflake, whatever works for you, but I wanted this one to be kind of more elegant and a little bit more different than my mounted stag head. But again, I use deer because I love that wooden like cabin feel, I love that. And these are so beautiful to make on your own and I'm actually going to be use these as gifts for some friends and family. I am just using my hot glue gun to glue down my um, flowers here and the garlands and my raffia bow and I think this one turned out beautiful. I think this one is elegant. I love the colors. It's very subtle. This one is just gorgeous in my opinion. Tell me what you think down in the comments.
then my last Dollar Tree DIY is the most simplest in my opinion. And you're just going to need some of these cute little bows. Again, garland twist, lights are optional, another adorable gift bag, and a picture frame. This one is so simple, guys. You're just going to take your frame apart, and I specifically picked out one that kind of had a frame inside of a frame because this particular bag I loved, but it wasn't real wide, so I didn't think it was going to fill the whole frame. So it just depends on how big your bag is. But I just measured it out with the little frame that goes inside the frame, cut it to size, and then put my picture frame back together. This is where you can use the lights if you so choose. I personally didn't like them, but you can hot glue them on the outside of the frame because you're going to be putting garland around the frame. I personally didn't like the lights, but maybe you have a different opinion. So I kind of nixed the lights and just went for a more simple feel with the garland, which you're going to see here in a moment. I'm just going to take the garland twists and kind of twist it in the corner, and then I'm going to glue it perfectly to the corner. And I'm going to do one in the top corner and then one in the bottom corner. And see, so you could have mounted lights all the way around. I just thought it was a little bit too much. So that's why I kind of just said, eh, I'll just do without the lights. Now I'm going to use hot glue in order to um, mount, so to speak, the garland on the corners. And then I'm going to make a big raffia bow. And then I'm going to use these smaller bows and put one in the corner and then one on top of the raffia bow. And guys, that's it. I have to tell you, this one is absolutely gorgeous and it was so simple but it has such a beautiful rustic cabin feel i absolutely love this one and it took me no time at all tell me what you guys think about this one in the comments too Well, lovies, these are my simple Dollar Tree DIYs. I hope you guys enjoyed them, and if you recreate them, please tag me on Instagram. I will link all that down below. I would love to see your take on your own DIYs. Until next time, guys, always take care of you, always do what you love, and I'll be talking to you soon with more Christmas DIYs coming soon. Until then, have a fantastic Thanksgiving. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. Bye, guys.